Okay, so welcome back to the to the new year of Salt Marsh. Um, so let's go ahead and start. We'll have uh, we'll have Core give his 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 fun fact first. So Core's fun fact, um, you know, he's the chieftain's son in this hill tribe of of Goliaths, but. As rough and tough as he is, he's actually the village whittling champion. <laughs> All right, <laughs> village whittling champion. Yep. All right, um, rip. <laughs> it's funny that that's yours. Uh, <laughs> Why is that yours? Wait, no, wait, it's, wait, it's, wait, it's, yeah, it's, it's similar similar. or what? What what so so just out of curiosity, what was the what did he whittle that he won? Like so did he won that, the championship. It was a self portrait. Okay. <laughs> Atta boy. Like was it life size or like a miniature? No, it was it was like a it was a little miniature. He he, he plays it when he plays his own tabletop games uh, in his village. Turns out Core's never actually seen himself. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, they don't have mirrors, so we had to go based off what people know. Nice. <laughs> All right, Rip. Um, nice okay, uh, my, mine is that because I was you know basically a slave on a trade ship. Um, that I learned how to whittle <laughs> pipes. <laughs> so nice. that's why I was laughing. <laughs> so I, I make like pipes for, for people, uh, but I became really good at it. And it was kind of the only way I knew how to make money. Like um, pipes, like uh, flutes? Like a, no, like a, like a smoking pipe. Oh. Yeah. So I made pipes. Nice. I whittled pipes for a living outside of like being a slave on a ship. <laughs> nice. Yep. All right. Uh, Ukor. So Ukor, even before switching sides, has always been white and red eyes. He's actually been an albino his entire life. So it's not like a change from switching sides. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna do um, Jared and Adam a little bit different. So, um, Adam, I would like you to to give just a little bit of a back background on your character, whatever you want to give. Like, you don't have to give the whole backstory, but just like what you want to say, and then a fun fact. Okay. So, is this on? Yeah. Okay. Yep, we can hear you. Um. So my fun fact is that as a young half elf, I've always wanted to do ballroom dancing. <laughs> but in my lifetime, what I've gone through, I took up a different profession to get by because there's not much money in ballroom dancing as a wood elf. Um, my backstory, uh, I am a mercenary for hire who is trying to accumulate enough money to buy his family back from slavery. Pay a debt. Ooh. All right. All right. Jared, uh, I would I would save your your big reveal for later when the group actually meets your character. But go ahead and uh I'll, I'll give a, I'll give a little fun fact. It's <laughs> it's really fine. Um I I've, I've got like a billion so it's it's, it's all good. Um, it's funny because, uh, I'm not going to make this as my main thing, but I, fun fact is, um, being, uh, my character being a halfling, I actually, uh, helped my father craft, uh, tobacco pipes. That was like a big thing. Like as a young, as a young girl, like my dad would have me come in the shop with him and help him craft some, some really cool pipes and stuff. Um, but other than that, um. I have my main fact is is that I have a very very uh, natural ability of making biscuits. <laughs> what? 
Um, so like natural I mean, ability? Well, like, yeah, like I just I naturally am like very good at like I didn't need to, I didn't need recipes. I didn't need anything, and I knew I was gonna, really going to be really good at making biscuits. So um, that's all yeah. I'm going to give you. That's all I'm going to. And give you. and then you went to prison for fraud, and are now best yeah. friends with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> 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 Take it easy, Martha Stewart. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Take, it easy. Take it easy. I knew exactly where Clark, Clark was going to take it. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. So we are. Uh, so Ukor, Core, and Rip, you guys are on a boat. Do we have Heading. swim trunks and flip floppies on? I got my swim. I trunks. mean, did you bring them with you? And my flippy floppies. So you guys have left the cavern and you are on your. You've loaded it up with all of the treasures that you found. I hope that you guys documented the treasures and it. how much you have. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. And so you guys are on your way back to Salt Marsh. It, like, do you want to do anything before you, like, on the way to Salt Marsh? We stop by Traders and offload all these goods that we've got. Um, so there wouldn't be anything nearby because you're not far enough away from Salt Marsh that. So if you did, you would be dealing with pirates and and uh. If you want to, you absolutely can. <laughs> I mean, we have 13 casks of brandy. I'm sure pirates are going to be happy to take this off our hands. Yeah, take it, not buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the one sitting with <laughs> Max I mean, HP. I mean, I do, I do kill for fun, so let's yeah. do, let's do I this. I have 11 <laughs> hit points, so let's, let's tone it down there a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ukor, right? God, I can't remember <laughs> everybody's names. Are, who's Ukor? A bit. I'm Ukor. Okay. Core Ukor. Wait, so you there's Ukor and then right? just Core? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. fun. Let that's that real confusing. fun. Chris, Which is yeah, hilarious because it like fun. it just it like can't wait for that planned thing. It just happened. Yeah, it did. We yeah we didn't plan that. At all. Chris, like are you able to up. put the names under everyone's token so everybody can see it? And just so you know, my nickname is Ycor. So I have, <laughs> I, I have the nice. the, na- the name plates turned on. There should be another one just... that says that like players can see. Yeah, I can only see my own. Because I can only see I my own too. Me. Is that under the page settings? No, it should be under the characters token setting. Are you guys related, Ukor and Kor? Not, not in the slightest. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And then Jesse, Jesse, your Rip. Yeah, Rip. Yeah. I'm a water genasi druid. Don't call me. Don't scream at me like that. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you won't I'm like. I'm supposed to allow you to figure that out in the middle of the game. <laughs> Did you go like I... rip as in like Riptide? What's that? Rip as in Riptide. Rip as in Riptide. Duh. That's his last name. Mm-hmm. Riptide. Okay. I don't. I don't see it where it would say show. That's fine. Well, let's we wouldn't worry about it now. I'm just trying to represents character. My character's actual name is Ukor Ratava, and it's Avatar Roku backwards. Oh my gosh! Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. I don't. Hate this the, is the, my, worst part this is, is, the worst part is I don't hate it. <laughs> this is this is my chronic achievement. <laughs> also, Clark, your hair is getting pretty long there, bro. I know. I was, mo- I, like, I, look, I was told I look like Marv today. I was like, that's not a great thing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Br- Brian, would it be under the token settings or would it be under like. The, it would be the... under the token. So you'd have to double click on the token. So I'm in there and I've got I've got the nameplate checked, but I don't see anything that says. Well, oh, found, it. found, it. found hey, it. Found it. Found it. Hey, there it is. I can see it now. It's it's a it's a like when I double click it, there's like th- there's a like the three bars next to the general. You have to click that drop down. Got it. 
Okay. I still don't see Jer's player's name. Um, it's because I'm not on that map, and I have to redo okay. the um, I I'll have to redo the tokens anyways. Don't worry about me. <laughs> so Jared, I went to I went to Madcap, picked up another. Um, yes. Oh my gosh, I missed boy. that beer, dude. That beer was so good. But this one, this one's a porter called "Thank God for Black Sabbath." <laughs> yes, it's so good. That's so That's good. Their names weird. were killer. Their designs, everything was so good. I still have right. the hat. I hope so. <laughs> no, dang it. Nope, didn't want to do that. You select the token. There we go. Sorry, I didn't mean to well, sidetrack. No, no, you're good. I'll I'll fix the other two players once I get to that. Once we get to that map. Okay. So what are you guys? So what are you guys gonna do? You're. Um, I guys, I think we should just sail back to Salt Marsh. I mean. We've been gone for a while. Like, let's maybe see what's going on. I mean, they are stolen goods, so we can sell it should them be back pretty easy to sell them back. Sell them back to the people who they got stolen from. It go. After that, I need to rest. Yeah, I mean, let the big guy rest. You know what I mean? I don't right. sleep. Yeah, it's I know unfortunate. I mean, I need to feel <laughs> bad for you. All right, so I'm moving you guys to the salt marsh map. Okay. And your tokens are super small, so you'll want to zoom in, but they're all right here. Hanging at the salt marsh. Oh, oh crap. It's okay, I see this, I see this. Rip, giant rip, just right there. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, so as I touched that, I got a massive... Yeah. No, it's that's me. I I uh Whoa <laughs> Big Face Sorry, I I I uh I had to, to delete and re add your icons because uh, I changed plates. changed the nameplates. Yep. Bad guy so there you remote. go. Okay. Um yeah, so, so do you I say let's go let's, go let's go to a uh, uh, we got these these this silk and this cloth and uh, I say we can go to a tailor for that and we got this these casts of brandy I'm sure Jeff at the tavern will appreciate. Uh, <laughs> this is, yeah, wait, yeah. There's, a, there's another Jeff. Yeah, he's the bartender. There's always a Jeff. <laughs> it's always a Jeff. Always a Jeff. All right. So, yeah, let's, man, let's do it. Vacation man, let us go find a tailor. Okay. Vacation. And I'm like, I've I've got these uh, things like over my shoulders as we're um, heading down the way. I, I just walked I just... up to some random person. I said, "Do you do you know where a tailor is? We're looking for a tailor." Because Rip doesn't really know what a tailor is. He 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 doesn't understand what that means. Do you know where tailor is? Carrying, like um... one bolt of cloth because I'm so weak. <laughs> Excuse me, go. sir. Do you know a tailor? Uh, um, yes. Probably the best place to go would be to the to the quartermaster, maybe. Uh, what is his name, Taylor? Uh, well, you know, people around here, you know, we've kind of had to get by on our own. So, you know, most people make their own stuff, but uh, but we, I mean, we have a quartermaster that will uh, that that often you know, has trades and, and whatnot that you might be able to go and offload your whatever you're trying to sell there. Uh, um, uh, okay. Uh, I go up to court. I just say, I, I think the quartermaster's name is, is Taylor. I think, I think that's where we <laughs> go. Uh, okay. That, let's, let's go lead the way waterman. Okay. I go wherever <laughs> that guy pointed me. <laughs> let's go uh, waterman. <laughs> so he pointed you south. Okay. To here. To where? Oh, okay. I'm pinging it. Here, shift, Guys, shift I, click it, so it'll take us to it. It is okay. I think, uh, I think we docked at the wrong spot, guys. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, you know, we can just keep walking. So fast, I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm getting back in the boat, and I'm taking it down there. Good thing I got my Fitbit on. Give <laughs> <laughs> steps. So I'm gonna go load everything back into the boat, and I'm gonna take it back down. 
farther <laughs> What's than Harvard. Thing, guys? <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll go along. I, I actually do walk because, like, <laughs> I spend most of my life on, at sea, so I'm gonna, like, I'm enjoying this walk. All right. Are you guys? So are you guys there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we, okay. we we take the boat, we dock down here, and make it so it's a much shorter walk. And uh, we'll once we get there, I'll unload everything. I'll give Ukor his one bolt that he can feel like he carried. And, you uh, guys should be able to. Oh, Hoping. Hold on. Let me fix that. I was gonna. I, I'm I'm making it so you guys can actually control the. Um, control the boat. Yeah. There you go. You should be able to control it now. All right. All right. Or just carries the whole boat on the land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll put it right there. Um. Did did Rip beat us there, or is he like still walking around? No, I'm I'm here. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. I I I like I sprinted. I just I ran because, <laughs> I, yeah, I I like to I like to walk around. You look like you're sweating. Well, no, I mean it's just water. I mean it's no big deal. All right. Well, so as as you guys walk up to to the quartermaster. Uh, to um, to his his place. You you look around and you notice uh, that you don't really see any trade goods around, and it you just see fish everywhere, and it smells like fish. <laughs> oh, man, it smells like home, guys. Good morning, lady. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I was thinking of something. <laughs> Hey, hey guy, do you buy stuff? Is your name Taylor? Um, I, um, I, I buy fish. Uh, if you have, if you have fish, I'll buy fish off of you. Are you the quartermaster? Are you the quartermaster? I'm the quartermaster. Yes. Is your name Taylor? Uh, no. Oh my God, guys! I don't know. I thought. Yeah, I feel so bad. I'm sorry. I thought this guy was gonna help us. Find Taylor, but he pointed us to this guy. His name's not Taylor. I don't know what to do. What 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 do you want? What are you looking for? Well, we got all these this bag of stuff, and uh, and Cor, why don't you yeah. why don't you show him what you got? <laughs> uh, so Cor will step up, and he will toss down the the bolts of cloth and silk, and he says, "We have come across some fine cloth here, and we are looking to sell it." Tell me, where is this man named Taylor that can make use of this? Well, I, I don't know of, of this Taylor that you speak of, but uh, and I don't know why you thought that I would buy all of this stuff, but, but there is a leather goods store up, up, up the river here, uh, Kester's. Now, will he, this... he, he, he will buy this stuff off of you. He, he, he buys and sells leather stuff and, and will buy other stuff as well. No, he's not going to send us somewhere else, right? Because he buys leathers; these are cloths. Uh, yes, he 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 knows he has contacts. He will he will buy and sell and trade with his contacts. All right, where is he? All right, thanks. And I turn around and I leave. And I right. look at him and I say, "If I you see this face again." You will be dying because you did not buy these cloths. Good day, oh sir. Gosh, I mean, so very, sorry, very Mr. Very angry man. man. I thought this vacation would soothe him, but uh, <laughs> let us go to what was his name? Craster. Uh, it's it's Kester's leather leather goods. Kester. All right. So I pick up the cloth off the ground and uh, head out the door and head up to head up to Kester's. All right. All right. I follow. Just in case there's a lot of pirates. You're going to bring the boat. 
I'm bringing the boat. Yeah. I don't trust nobody. Has it got a motor on it? This town, this town, this town, this town blows. Oh, so good. All right. All right. I open the door and I say, Where is the one called Kester? My name is Kester. I look I, around. Well, well, it's it's Kiorna, but that is that is me. I was told a man named Kester would buy this cloth. Uh, well, there's no man here. I, I'm the shop owner, but I I will uh, I will buy your stuff. What do, what do you have to sell? Uh, is this is this a uh, a human? Uh, what 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 is the the race of this individual? She, she is a female human. All right. Didn't want to assume any genders or anything. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So I toss down the cloth and the silk, and I say, we have come across some goods here that we were told could be sold here. Yes. Yes, I, I, I buy and sell trade goods. Wonderful. How much for all of this? I have five <laughs> bolts of silk and three bolts of cloth. All right, hold on. Five bolts of silk and what? And three bolts of cloth. Mm -hmm. Um, assuming you just want to sell it, right? Yes. Okay. Rather than me spend time looking it up, we'll just say that you sell it, and then I'll I'll let you know how much you sell it for. Okay, that's fine. So are you guys good with that? Yep. Yep. I'm sure. Okay. Of the inventory then, because I gotta go back and find out where you guys got it from. And it was it was worth. it was in the um, in the cave. Yeah, the caves. Like in the room above where the boat was. Oh, right, right at the end there. Okay, that mm -hmm. should be easy to find. So I say, I look at. Um, um, yeah. So five bolts of silk are worth uh, fifty gold pieces each. Wow. And fifty. Um, and then what was the other one that you uh, had? Three bolts of cloth. The three bolts of cloth, the bolts and casks have the same value and conditions as those found in area 27. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so they're, they, they are also worth 50 gold pieces each. So 250 plus 150 equals 400. Yep. All right. I will take that and I will put that in the bag of holding. Can we say, for time's sake, that we sold the stuff that we have in the bag of holding that we are probably not going to be using? Yep. Um, so, yeah, are we, are we able to... Bones. Yeah, I've got... Do you have the list of what you have? I do, yes. and we, we can go over it later as far as the cost and everything. Otherwise, we're going to sit here and... Do, do you want to uh, copy and paste it into Discord? Yep. And then I'll put it in my notes? Yep. Great. Do you guys want to? So, are you going to sell all of it? Um, I'll post it in there, and if you guys don't want to sell anything, um, I know because like I've got like a pipe of remembrance. I I don't remember what that was, but um, if you guys don't lighting wanna... it after ten minutes shows memories of heroic deeds. Okay, so we can hold so on to I, that. I'm but... pretty okay. I'm pretty okay with parting with that. Okay, so yeah, I think um, unless you guys have any objections, we can dump everything mm -hmm. that I've thrown in the chat there. Yep. Cool. Okay. So we can look at that later. Yep. Um, all right, I'm going to delete that from my bag of holding contents. And then I was like, all right, let us go to Jeff to get rid of this brandy. And then let us please take a rest. Yeah, sounds good. So are you are you going back to the wicker goat? Yes, we will go back to the wicker goat. Okay. Um, so on the way to the wicker goat, so because if you, if you guys remember, the wicker goat is down here. Right. Um you will um so you're gonna come across the like a member of the town council. Uh oh. And the, um so Frick, what was the name of the guy that <laughs> that you ran into earlier? Salmer, I think it was. 
No. Um, I can the guy from the docks that we pissed off? No, 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 no. The guy that, that welcomed you at the docks. Warlock? Yeah, yeah. The poacher? No. Oh, no. Anders Anders Salmer. Yeah, Anders. Okay, so Anders is is going to greet you, and he says, Welcome, travelers. Have you, uh, did, did you find your adventure that you were looking for? <laughs> yes, we slew great enemies, and we are eager to slay some more. Ah, which, uh, so you slew great enemies. Tell me of your, of your heroic deeds. Well, I could have shown died, you, but Anders. we just got rid of a pipe that would have shown that. Oh, um, oh, that is such a a waste. But uh, we shut down a trafficking and smuggling ring that has been plaguing this area. Wait, you shut down the trafficking ring? We've been searching for that ring for months. You've been where, searching where did you? For months, we just landed here a day ago, and we've already taken care of it. Where did you find this trafficking ring? <laughs> What do you know of the ghost the house. haunted house? Yes. Oh, nobody. House. Yeah, nobody haunted house. I mean, it is it is haunted, and people don't come out of there. Well, you do not have to fear it anymore. Sounds like you're a little stitious there, Anders. Well, I mean, we've had you know, stories of people who have gone and never come back. So you know, it's not superstition if if people people go disappearing. Uh, it's called trafficking. So are you saying that the that the haunted house was where the bandits were 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 doing all this trafficking from? That is what I am saying. Yes. Oh, well, I, you may not have known this, but there is there was a bounty on taking care of the uh, taking care of the ring, and you guys have you you have taken care of the bandit ring, so. The bounty is yours. How much is it? Uh, 200 gold pieces. Oh, that's a lot of gold, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Each? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bummer. That's a good yeah. question, Vacation Man. That is good. Um, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I, 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 vacation Man. <laughs> I went on vacation and all I got was ripped off. Uh, <laughs> but uh, please, please... Um, I don't have the I don't have the money on me, but please meet me back in the, by the town council in a few days, and I will have your money for you. And I must speak with the town council about this. We need to we need to do our own research, but uh, providing everything pans out, we will we will give you your money. We will see you in a couple days. Then sounds fair. Do you have All any right. more work for us? Uh, not, not at the moment. Um, it, Great. It, but it and looks I've... like you are on your way somewhere. Yes, we have brandy to sell to Jeff. Ah, yes, Very Jeff does. Old brandy. Jeff by the does. Way. Jeff does like his uh, his his brandy, both to sell and to partake in. Don't we all? <laughs> and uh, I said, well, thank you very much. We are on our way, and uh, we will come see you in a couple days. And I start walking into the worker goat. All right. So I'm going to move everybody to the wicker goat. And you guys probably don't have access. You probably can't see anything right now, right? Correct. Yeah. I can't see nothing, man. It's dark. Hey. There it is. So... There we go. Do we happen to All see right. any like downtrodden high level adventurers getting yelled at about a uh, certain old companion that turned into a lich? Um as as you <laughs> well as as you as you walk in the door, you see this group of very serious looking travelers and worried travelers uh, pass you as they as they as they leave the tavern. This way, you hear the one guy say, "Damn it! I knew I should have kept that body." <laughs> I, I, I walk past them and I walk in, and immediately I just yell, "Jeff, where are you, Jeff? I have something for you." I walk up to the bar, and I 
I see a dead man behind the bar, and I say, "Are you okay? He's lying on the ground, guys." Oh my god, I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I know these characters look very bad. <laughs> the way that they are. Um, so Je Jeff says, "What? What do you? What do you have for me?" I walk over to the side of the bar over here, and I toss. No, I toss. I set down the uh, the fifteen. Is it, it's a fifteen cask. Is thirteen. That that thirteen casks. A shit ton of fucking brandy. Um, <laughs> are they just strapped to your back? <laughs> just... Yeah. They're just strapped all over. I've got like arm, arm, back, back, shoulder, like I'm on my legs, like everything. Like I am just a walking. Uh, it's yeah. It's just I have. I'm just struggling to roll one in the door. Yeah. <laughs> of course, got like ten. Yep. Uh, so Good. I set them all, and I say, we have some very, very old brandy that we came across that I thought you might enjoy. Good God, man! Who did you kill for all this brandy? Well, I mean. If you have time, we can go into detail, but long story short, that haunted house you told us about? Yes! No no longer haunted. Ah! You have figured out the the the, the haunted house, have you? What what was it? Did you did you kill a banshee? Was it a banshee? <laughs> it wishes it was a banshee. These men <laughs> let me tell you this, these men were so stupid. That I was able How to convince them, they? one at a time, to come out out of their hiding hole to get ambushed and killed by my friends over here. It was great. It was so easy. A baby could do it. It was. They, they were. They were really dumb, guys. I got to pretend I was dead. And that's not a small feat for him. <laughs> 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 so let's let's talk uh let's talk uh yes sense here Jeffrey. um so hmm so i you know i don't know anything about these these but these casks of brandy uh can i uh, do you mind if i take a sample and, and see See if it's even brandy that you're trying to sell me, or if you've pissed in a barrel. <laughs> Absolutely, my friend. Jeff, there's 13 barrels. And I called it. Piss that much. You know, I heard a tale of a story from a long time ago of people who, <laughs> who pissed in in a drink, and they called it BS, and everybody loved it. Real quick, Grim saw. The I heard this delicious. Real quick, Grim saw the guy carrying the barrels, went back in, thought he smelled, smelled some piss. <laughs> what the hell was that little dwarf man doing? What was that? <laughs> um, um, yes, go ahead. Here, let me open it for you. And I kind of break off the top and, you know, let him take a sample. Let's see here. Hmm. As the, the DM thinks of a random little, ass number, little little oaky. Yes, I do. I do think that this is brandy. Hmm. Brandy, Brittany, same is it, thing. Is it? Is it? Oh. Is it top shelf? I'm trying to decide. Well, I will give you. I will give you seven gold pieces a barrel. I immediately pull out my knife and start carving my name in the bar. And looking <laughs> and looking at Jeff, I'm like Jeff. This is aged at sea. This is the finest brandy you will ever find. I don't know. Yeah, you know, not you? not many of our customers in here really enjoy brandy. You know, they really enjoy other drinks and beverages here. But uh, you know, I see, I may be able to take take it off your hands for uh, for eight gold pieces. I do an intimidation check and just like. Jeff, listen. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Roll intimidation. Are there any other inns or taverns in Saltmarsh? Um, yes, but none as like prominent as Wicker Goat. Yeah, like Got fifteen. It. Okay, okay, okay. You've you've twisted my arm, but but. Ten is 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 the most that I can do. 
Jeff, you've got yourself a deal, my friend. And I hold out my hand and I kind of, I just shake his hand, grab it and just <laughs> shake it up and down really hard. He just shakes Jeff. Yeah, just shake Jeff. <laughs> shake Jeff. That's what he's done on the floor. So, <laughs> after Jeff recovers from being tossed around by a giant Goliath barbarian, he says, "So, uh, can I can I interest you in a drink? We've got some, we've got some interesting beverages here. We've got a new beverage here that nobody it's it's new to the region." Let me guess. Uh, you're going to sell back this brandy, brandy for uh, about two <laughs> gold pieces a bit, huh? No, no, nothing is shady. He said, I'll do that to the next people that come in. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Here's a snifter for five gold. What is this I new know, there's, beverage? There is this new beverage that uh, this uh, fine young lady in the in the corner over there has introduced to me. It's uh, It's called a tequila sunrise. Tequila Ooh. sunrise. And I look over in the direction that he pointed in the corner and I said, uh that little one over there. Yes, she is she is quite the chef and she knows her way around a drink. I turn around and I yell, I said, You lady little one, come here. Oh, sweet thing, are you talking to me? <laughs> Yes. You, come here. So it begins. Oh, yep. well, goodness, you are so strong and tall. I just might <laughs> slither on over there. Let's see what's going on. Oh, Someone's going to get impregnated. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've, never, I've never been so confused and horny in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I look down and I say, uh, what is this drink that uh, the Jeff over here speaks of? Well, I mean, I'm just telling you right now where I came from, Tequila Sunrise. It's just such a pleasant little bright little drink. It's so pleasant. It's friendly. It's happy. And let me tell you, the tequila is so real. Oh, goodness. You ever had tequila, handsome tall man? I look at Ukor and I'd be like, what's wrong, what's wrong with her voice? I, I, I've never heard anybody talk like this before. Have you? No, but apparently the drink is pleasant. I mean, Where? maybe we should. I, I would like to try it, uh, lady. How do I do this? Oh, well, look at you. Looking so strong and handsome as well. Goodness, I'm just, I'll absolutely make sure you get something good. We're going to make you, we're going to spritz you up something real fresh. Um. Okay, thank, thank you, lady. Guys, I don't know if I trust her. What is your name, small one? Well, people, you know, from where I came from, it's very far away, but people know me as Barber Biscuits. <laughs> you sure where, is it? Paul, Dave? where is it? That Shut you your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> where did I come from? Oh, goodness, child. Um, I'm not a child. Lots of butter. Well, you know, it's a term of endearment. It's not necessarily like me being rude to you or anything, but um yeah i've had some history big time and history of what uh, lots of stuff so it's just like <laughs> okay why don't we have a few tequila sunrises and let's talk about yeah let's, let's have some tequila sunrise i'll tell you all about it Corn, i thought you were tired i thought you wanted to sleep i am exhausted i'm gonna go, I'm gonna go anywhere but here and I move over to go talk with somebody who looks as dark as I do. <laughs> so, real, real quick, Jared's accent sounds like Leslie Jordan. So, Google him. You probably, you've probably seen him in stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, anyways, no, uh, talking about. so anyways, before uh, uh, Core and Floor and Bore and Door and Floor and Riptide all walk away, <laughs> Door and Floor, Sacramento, um, Sacramento. <laughs> um, uh, basically, Barbara mm -hmm. explains that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably looks the same too. Yeah, uh, Barbara <laughs> explains that. Uh, she was a very simpleton uh, halfling that just kind of lived her life. And um, 
you know, she was just kind of going with the flow. She didn't really want to have anything to do with anything. She's just kind of going through it. She had her own bakery in the town that she lived. And unfortunately, uh, some goblins showed up and they just like terrorized everything. And it was super unfortunate for everybody. And I just, for me personally, I just don't know what happened, but I went into a state of rage and I didn't know I had it. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, I kind of exploded, and uh, I don't know why, but I kept screaming out the name, Karen! 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 So uh, I ended up killing every single goblin in our town. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, I became... A, <laughs> a basic, <laughs> I basically became, like, a fork lord, like, like, within my town, and people loved me, and we just cherished everything, and my bakery was gone, so I was like... I don't know, like, what am I going to do? So I started working out, and I started working on my rage. And uh, the next thing I know, I became super buff. And uh, uh, basically talked to, like, my town leader, and he was like, hey, we need to make sure these goblins don't come back, and we need to make sure they never, like, exist in the world. So we need you to go out and, like, find them. So that's why I'm in the salt marshes because I just was trying to like find them and I've been like researching. And, uh, but hey, it seems like you guys are like on your own little quest and you guys are doing your own thing. And obviously I hate evil. So I just need to make sure I can help you guys to make sure we can vanquish it. So I'll, uh, if you guys, if you guys are looking for some help, I, I'm here. I'm small. I'm only four seven. So I'm like a little baby, but. I have a lot of muscle, and I can also kick some ass if you need it. Well, like um, a I'm a halfling barbarian. If I need to be very really specific for you, Leslie Jordan. Then. Yeah, so I'll clap Barbara like on the shoulder. Representation. Yeah. No, I'll... this isn't. This isn't that character. This is me. I'm myself. <laughs> I'm in. I'm an individual. I'm sure, you guys are twins. No, probably not. Never heard of them. So probably not. <laughs> He's a real life halfling. Good for him, but I've never heard of him. I'll I'll clap Barbara on the shoulder. I said, "You are small, but you are mighty. I know of the rage you speak of." Oh my gosh, you're so tall and handsome. I could tell right now you have you got some rage, but man, you know how to control it. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong, but this is a little weird right now. So I'm going to go take a break and I'm going to go fine. take a nap because I am extremely that's tired. That's in fine. the morning, yeah, that's... we'll continue so, on in our adventures. So there there are there are beds upstairs. Well, I know. I already told Jeff I want one. Okay. <laughs> well, that. So I walk off. I go upstairs. I wave to Jeff and uh, Rip. And... You're... you're... You're moved now. I moved you to your bed. Oh, wonderful! Who, is, that, is that why it's dark? Yeah, go to the go to the right. Scroll yeah, to the okay. right. You're actually asleep already. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, why it's dark. <laughs> uh, hey, there's my bed. All right, cool. Who who else is who else is going to bed? Uh, I stay up and talk to Barbara. Biscuit. <laughs> okay. Somebody other than somebody who's not so cheery. So I'm gonna go sit next to clearly. The dark one over here on the table, so I'm gonna start talking to him. As soon as it sits down, so I get up and move. <laughs> Thank God, I thought I was gonna have to talk to that guy. <laughs> oh, I avoided that one. Well, Barbara, um, I, this is this drink is delightful. Yeah, it's it's like spicy, it's sweet, it's friendly, it's everything you need in your life, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't get out very much when I was, uh, you know, growing up. So mm. spent most of my time on a ship. So tasty drinks oh. like this just is just a, all new for me. Well, goodness, yeah, you don't need the salt water in your life. It's aggressive. It's hard on your liver. Let me tell you. Uh, you know about salt water living? Oh goodness, sweetheart, I know so much more than you know. Uh, oh, <laughs> I mean, probably. Like I said, I grew up on a slave ship. So, um, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry that that happened for you, but I'm happy that you're free and living. Are you just, have you just been doing whatever you want or what? I mean, I, I boarded this sh a, a ship from Waterdeep and I escaped my slavers and 
Mm. I came over here and I met Cor and Ukor and I thought it was funny they had the same names. And then all of a sudden we were in a place and we were fighting people. And here I am drinking tequila sunrises. Oh, goodness. You guys survived it? Was it intense? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, of course. We're here. Yeah, oh, goodness. It's just it's like crazy things happen in this place or what? Yeah, we probably should have died, but I don't cool. know. We didn't. Well, that just shows your strength. The bad guys around here are pretty dumb. Mm. <laughs> that's hel- that, That's always helpful, you know. It just yeah, 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 yeah. That's so, great. Uh, well, you wanna, do you want to do you want to join us? Do you want to go on some adventures with us and have some fun? I don't know. I mean, based off what you said, it's made it seem like they're pretty dumbasses. So it's <laughs> easy to defeat. So I'm not sure. I'm well, like, I mean, do you even need me? I mean, it sounded like you had fun kicking goblins' asses in your hometown. Well, I mean, it's hard to tell you right now, but I feel trustworthy with you. Um, I have a different yeah, I mean, side. Of, I have a different side of me, and her name's Karen. And uh, she's a lot more aggressive than me, but she shows up every once in a while. So, um, <laughs> every twenty-eight days. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's more consistent than that. Oh God! You never, you never go full Karen. <laughs> Goes into a wait, wait. Isn't it called a blood rage? Just, just saying. Oh, no. <laughs> God, damn. Oh, maybe blood rage. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you haven't seen her yet. But um, the reason why I'm so uh, into like going around and killing things, um, Karen has influence on me. And, uh, you know, me as Barb, I'm super about consistency and just loving everything around me. But Karen's not really into that. So, uh, okay. I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see what Karen's like. Yeah, I hope you don't see her soon, but she might show up. um, Okay. I start like kind of like getting a little uneasy with uh, Barbara now that she's talking more about Karen and I just like. I'm like, um, I'm going to go and get another uh, tequila sunrise. And I like get up, start walking towards the bar, but then make a hard right and sit next to Ukor by the fire. <laughs> I feel like look at Rip. I feel like look at Rip. Oh, I thought I was unstable. And, and that, I mean, she seems so friendly, but then you start talking to her and then all of a sudden, like she talks about how she's going to like rage, Karen rage on everybody. That's scary. Yeah. I just yeah, need to you, walk away. You guys talked a lot, so I'm like not about that. <laughs> in, I, in between, I, I in between I, I, all I'll of this, now. in between all of this, Karen, like Barb's just sitting at the table, being like, "Such sweet gentlemen. They're so nice. I love that. <laughs> They're such pleasant people. I love it. I, it just makes me feel so good. So good to meet good people." And she just takes like far too many swigs of particular sunrise. <laughs> And then she goes, she goes, so uh, where's the really tall, handsome one that's also, like, super buff? Where did he go? What's going on? She, like, asked the room that. I never want to be back in the nine hell so bad in my life. Really? It's that bad, man? I just don't do people. <sighs> well, here, enjoy this tequila <laughs> sunrise. I think you're going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> so and then, I shut my mouth and throw it over my shoulder and set it back down. <laughs> and then Barb, uh, multiple tables over, she goes, How you guys like your tequila sunrise? Is it great? What's going on? It's so good. It's so good, Barb. Um, thank you. And I just like turned my head back, looking straight at the fire, like trying to just like, mm. gosh, I, I mean, I invited her to join us in our, in our, in our gang, our party, or whatever we want to call ourselves. And now I'm like, having second thoughts J- J- yeah. jeff jeff walks up to the to the two chairs there only seeing your backs and he's like hey can i offer you guys a uh uh this really great brandy it's three gold pieces a a, a glass <laughs> Who's walk jeff away while you to? can still walk away jeff Just save yourself. oh oh, oh. Oh, so, so, sorry. And, and for for you guys, uh, I'll I'll do I'll do one gold gold piece. One gold piece for a brandy. Do you want a brandy? <laughs> yeah, let me tell you a story. 
about a guy who started a smuggling ring and then didn't make it out. <laughs> he didn't make it out. Move along, Jeff. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Do you want another tequila sunrise? I'll take one, please. I, very, I will be very well. Here. I feel like Ukor is one of those people who gets the really fruity drinks with the umbrellas, even though you know how tough he is. <laughs> he, just, he just can't let anybody <laughs> see it, though. Can't. Yeah, he yeah. Can't. Yeah. He can't anybody, yeah, he's like, put it in the pint glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, during this time, Barb's like, Barb reaches out to everybody in the group and is like, that's currently down there. Well, I'm so excited for our new adventure. Thank you so much and for inviting me. I'm going to head up to my bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. I'm just gonna keep ignoring Barb until, so I, then, just, until I actually so have to then, talk so to then, her. It's, so just, like, it's Barb, just like Stranger Things. Barb, so then Barb, Barb heads upstairs. <laughs> so all right. If you want to scroll right, you're in your room now. Yeah, I see it. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I've chased this dark fella across the room a few times, so I'm kind of done with him. <laughs> we, we tried. We tried. <laughs> are you guys? Are you guys just chilling downstairs for the night? Yeah, we're good. Yep, yep. You're gonna stay downstairs, or you're gonna go to bed? I'm good. Oh, bedtime? Yeah, no, I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, okay. Bedtime. All right. I want to keep my two hip punches. <laughs> so, what do you what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna sit by the fire. All night. All night. <laughs> I'm not long. This right. is who I am, Dad. Just love me. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to hold on to those to those leached hit points. <laughs> what I have left of my old life. All right. So everyone else is cleared in the room? Uh, except for Ukor, yeah. Okay, I'm going to sneak upstairs where everyone else is sleeping. All right. Uh, I will put you in the hallway there. Can I, can I, can I see him do that? Um, yeah, uh, so Adam roll stealth. Okay. Perception. And, and Ukor, I'm going to say roll... Uh, perception with disadvantage because you're like all the way across the room and you got your back to him. Disadvantage, it is a. I rolled a 24. Okay, yeah, I got a 13. <laughs> okay. So you see nothing. Other than you are now in an empty room. <laughs> I'm good. Right. I'm assuming I'm taking a long rest, yeah? Um, yeah. Everybody right, um, everybody but Ucor can take a long rest. I'm okay. checking these doors. See if they're locked. I can't tell where the doors are, by the way. Oh. Now let me zoom in. I'm guessing okay. there's doors in this hallway, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's a door right there. Door right there. Door right there. Door right there. Okay. And so on and so forth, like down the hallway. Okay, I'm just going to go down the hall and just checking the doors to see if they're openable. Um, okay, so the the first two doors here, they're, you can open them. They're, let me... Let me... Oh, like an EC. I thought that was a soundboard for a second. I thought that, I also, <laughs> thought, I th also that it was like a dog barking, <laughs> like within inches of a microphone. Who is that? It's Jesse. You're for welcome. Sure. Bless you. You're welcome, everybody. So um, I'll open the doors that, that, that can be opened simply because... They're not locked. Well, yeah, there's no occupants in them. So, you know, potentially... <laughs> People wouldn't have have shut the doors and locked them. I'm looking for the ones that actually have people in them sleeping. Yeah, so those doors are shut, and I uh, I assume 
Core, Barbara, and Rip, are you guys locking your doors or no? Yes, locked. Locked, loaded. Uh, yeah, for the sake of everything, I feel like I'm going to lock that shit. Um, so those doors are right there. If you if you if you want to attempt to which ones? It, uh, so right here, and then directly across from that, and then right here. I don't see pings. You're not seeing the pings? No. Oh, I'm on. Hold on, I'm on the wrong. You see that? Yep. Okay. So right there, and then directly across from that is a door, and then right here is a door. So just those three rooms? Yeah, those are the only three that have occupants in them. Okay. So then I'm going to go and put my ear to the door and see if I can tell if the person inside the door is sleeping or there's moving going on on that first one. In 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 this one? Yep. Is the, the person I'm I'm, I'm going to try not to I'm not going to I'm going to try not to reveal who's behind that door, but is that person but, moving around or or making noise if they want to make noise they can? I'm assuming uh, it's... I lost. I don't see Jesse. I got everybody except for Jesse. I'm I there. I had to reconnect. I had to a couple times as well. I see uh, So I don't. I'm not, I'm not seeing Jess. Do you reconnect, Jess. There he is. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely see that. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. So well, okay. Let's let's ask this. So, is everybody asleep, or is anybody up and moving around? Core is passed out. He's okay. had a long day. Yeah, I'm snoozing right now. I'm like, oh, this is the most action I've seen in like forever. So I'm gonna sleep. Barbara, are like, you moving around? Uh, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm moving around, but I'm definitely like not tired. She's okay. Jacked up on Mountain Dew. Yeah, I'm definitely not tired. She's she's uh. She's she's got some sparkiness to her. She's just, you know, exercises the mill and that helps her. So You're moving around. So Jarrell, as you as you approach this door and you put your ear to the door, you hear uh, the the sound of someone talking to themselves and talking about all the nice people that they met that day, <laughs> and those stra the strapping young men. <laughs> 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 this room smells. I'm going to the next one. <laughs> so I put my ear to this one to see the person sleeping. Uh, yeah. So you you don't you don't hear anything on the other side of that door. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick the lock. Um. All right. Let me. I've, so we've never had anybody that could pick a lock. What's sleight of hand? Slide yeah, you just okay. So roll. Yeah, so roll sleight of hand. That would be a twenty-seven. Jeez. Okay, so you unlock the door. That was a twenty on the die. Yeah. So you unlock the door. And then I sneak in to the room. If I can get in. Um. Yeah, so go ahead and roll stealth as you open the door and enter. Uh, 16 plus 7. That's 23. Okay, so... Uh, you said it's 23? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, you're good. Um, Brian, I'm just going to use your passive perception since you're asleep. Yeah, yeah go for it. Yeah. A whole whopping Which nine. is, yeah. Okay, so you're good. You enter the room and you see this uh, behemoth of a barbarian sleeping on the bed. I can't actually see into the room right now. Like me as, not the character, but. Oh, you, know, you can't. Oh, so hold on. I fart. Sorry, I gotta do the dynamic lighting. Dynamic lighting. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I just take one step into the room and I'm just rolling. Can I roll perception to see if I see anything of value? On on 
Brian's character or on in the room? Yes, in the room. So, Brian, which way is your character laying? Well, so well your heads. Okay, so where where is where would you have placed your belongings? Uh, I would have kept Skull Cleaver near me, within arm's reach. Um, but all my equipment would have just been kind of strewn about, kind of over near where that chest is. Okay. But Skull Cleaver is like right next to me, like in my arms, sleep as I'm sleeping, like dangling off the bed. Okay. Well, I'll be be more specific. What I'm looking for is things that have high value, not just anything. I'm looking for things that have high value. That's what I'm rolling for. Um, roll, roll perception. Like gems, rings, something valuable. Seventeen plus two, so that's nineteen. Jeez. Jeez, you rolling high right now. Um, yeah. Do I see money? Um, I'm trying to think. How am I going to do this? So, okay, so, all right, I'm just going to take this off of, like, realistic. Okay, so, realistically, you're, from where you're standing, looking about the room, you see what Brian Brian described. You see okay. Skull Cleaver cle uh, held in his hands, and you see his belongings strewn about the floor. If you want to move closer to him and search closer, you can. Okay, then I'll do that. Um, Am I right next to the stuff now, or do I need to be right there? Um, so you, you're going to be right next to him. If you, are you searching him? I'm not searching his body. I'm searching the room and his stuff to see why I see like money, jewels, anything of value that is small that I can contain in the pocket. The only thing that would have been, and I don't know how big it would be, but the only thing that fits that description that I would have on me is the bag of holding. Yeah. So so here's how I'm playing this. I'm I'm. And Brian, if you want to cha if you want to change this, you can. But my thought would be that Skull Cleaver would be on your right side, and then the like towards the door, and then the bag of holding you would have probably kept on your left side, away from the door, just to protect it. Yeah. So my my likely. my my thought process would be that he would not see that. Okay. Right away. Okay. So then, do I need a roll perception again to see if I see the bag of holding? I mean, you're gonna have to be like right on top of him, and you're gonna roll with disadvantage, because he—it's—it's it's not like it's a big bag of holding. You can if you want to. Can I ask what's causing the disadvantage? Because you're—I mean, because it's on—I mean, he's a Goliath. He's—he's he's massive, and so to in order to see it, you'd have to like kind of lean over him to oh. see it. Yeah, let me zoom into this room so I can see how this layout is. But so the the reason why I'm saying disadvantage is because realistically, it wouldn't just be out in the open like where you would be able to see it. Unless he's unless he had said that he had left it out, which he didn't. He kept it on himself. There's no room for me to fit back here. No, the beds are against the wall. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's not a good picture. This this is just a. I mean, this is just a rough one that I pulled off the internet, but it's it's um, it's against the wall there. In that room, it is. Can I crawl underneath the bed? To see if I can reach up between the bed and the wall and feel around. Um, how big are you? I'm small. I'm a half elf. Yeah, you're half elf. I'll allow that. I'm slightly taller than the halfling. I'll, I'll allow that. 
Okay. So what is that? Uh, stealth then again? Yep. Yep. Roll stealth. Twelve plus seven and nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. And then Brian, I'm gonna have you roll opposing perception to see if you can feel him, um, like feeling around the bed. Now, would he roll at a disadvantage because he's sleeping? It doesn't matter. I rolled a three. Okay. All right. So you feel around and you can feel a bag kind of at his at his at his hip. Do I feel that it's tied onto him or is it attached to him, or is it just sitting there? Um, I don't know. Core, core is it tied to your? It's is it tied to your belt? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, tied to my belt for sure. Okay, do I feel like a a, a flap that op- lays over the opening, or is it like an at top of the bag that I can reach into? It's like a drawstring kind of thing. Okay, do I feel a knot where would, the drawstring would be to the opening? Uh, I mean, yeah, there, it, it it would be at the top of the bag. Okay, there's a knot though. Uh, yeah. Okay, I attempt to untie the knot. Um. Okay. Roll. Sleight of hand. Fourteen plus seven twenty-one. And and Brian, like roll perception. Two. Gee. <laughs> My perception is okay. not good. Yeah. Okay. So so okay. So you un you are able to untie the knot. And then now that the, the bag's untied, I kind of reach my hand in and try to feel around to see if I feel anything small enough that I can pull out with my hand that looks like it's worth the value. So the way the bag of holding works is basically if, if, if you just start putting your hand in there and rooting around, you're not going to really find anything. And you kind of, like, whatever you're looking for you specifically know in is, there? is what you're going to find. Not necessarily. Like if you're just if you're looking for money, you just like think of money or whatever, and you would be able to grab if there's money in there, you'd be able to grab it. Okay. I think of money and jewels. Do I feel? <sighs> All right, so shut up, dog. Go away. So we don't know how much money is in there. Um. So there is money. Okay. In... Well, so yeah. So there is gold in there because so we haven't counted it up. So do this. Roll the percentage die. Grab a handful. So roll the percentage die, and whatever percentage you roll, that's yeah. how much you're gonna grab. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me grab my percentage die. The whatever it is, the D100 or whatever it's called. Yeah. Percentile. Yeah. Am I rolling both of them? Or just one? Just, uh... Oh, yeah, roll both of them. 85. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'll let you know how much you got once we tally up how much money is there. Because right. okay. we don't know. know how much money is there. Yeah, let me know how I... much I gotta remove. 80, well, whatever it is there, um, my handful, I sneak it into my pocket, my little pouch, and then I try to sneak out. Okay, roll another stealth check. That's 11 plus 7, so 18. And then Brian rolled another perception. 15. All right, I'm sneaking out. Yeah. Yeah. I closed the door behind me very stealthily. Do I need to roll for that too? No, we'll just... We'll just say it was part of your stealth as you ran out. And then I go to this next door and attempt to unlock it. Go ahead and roll a slide hand. 12 plus 7, 19. All right, you unlock it. Can you give me uh, access to the it's, room? It's right here. Oh, go go up a little bit. Is this the room? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, I just take a step in the room and take a whiff. 
like this smells like the ocean in here. <laughs> is what I'm thinking to myself. I look, can I make a perception again and to see if I see anything of value? Small and uh, small and of a uh, of value. Yeah, you can. Rip, correct me if I'm wrong, but you, like everything was in the bag. You guys put everything in the bag holding, right? Like you, yep. there was, you, you don't have anything on you, right? Um, let me double check. Other, have, other than like your weapons. I have ten gold on me. That's it. But yeah, everything of interest would be put it back into the bag of holding. Okay. And this 10 gold that you have on you, is it in a purse or is it actually on you as you sleep? It's probably on me as I sleep. I'm not going to bother with it then. Like in my pocket. <clears throat> I go ahead and back out and close the door silently. Roll stealth again. 8 plus 7 is 15. Uh, rip, roll uh, perception. Perception. 24. Oh, okay. So you notice you you are kind of jostled awake a little bit and you hear the door close. Do you do um, anything? I'd get up. Because that's weird that somebody was just in my room and I didn't know about it. And I walk out towards the hallway, I guess. Okay. And I look around kind of like a little weary eyed, like what, what the what? And do I see anything? Or anybody? Um, I mean, do you see anybody? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, I mean, so just look around, I guess, if you I don't see anybody. That was weird. Okay. Uh, I mean, you're all at 24, right? Uh, where's what? Do, I would know what door Core's room is. It right? Like I would know what door that is. Yeah, this is Core's door here. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm on the wrong map, so you can't see it. Okay, this is Core's door down here. Okay, I go and knock on Core's door. <laughs> Uh, of course, he's he's snoring. He's passed out. Okay. Uh, where's Ukor's? Ukor's downstairs still. Okay. Um, I just go back to sleep. All right. And then I lock I lock my door and put the chair that's at my desk next to it, like propping it, propping it against it. Okay. Against it, yeah. All right. All right, well, then I'm going to go back to this door that once had someone talking to themselves and just take a listen again to see if I can still hear them talking to themselves. Barbara, are you asleep? <clears throat> yeah, Barbara's asleep, but um, she has this weird tendency where she likes to sleep against the door. <laughs> so she's sleeping against the door. <laughs> I kick the door. So 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 you don't hear anything unless Barbara I, snores. I kick the door. You kick the door? Yeah. Not kick it open, just kick the door. Um are you I I mean Oh okay, Barbara, do you wake up? Absolutely. And then <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I wake up, and uh, Barbara. She instantly. Uh, Barbara's right on the edge of of her rage, <laughs> so she instantly goes into a state of like, "I'm just. This is not acceptable," and uh, so Barbara borders up her door as much as she can because it's like. She, in her mind, she's like, there's probably better things we could be doing right now. So she's like, I'm going to border this up. I'm going to bed. All right. 
Hearing that, I snicker and move on downstairs. All right, as long as uh, as long as nobody else wants to do anything, you guys will get a uh, a long rest, and we'll cut to the morning. Okay. So do I gain the eighty-five gold now? So well, so y you, we're gonna have to. I'll have to figure it out because I don't know how much money it is, and I don't know how much realistically a handful is. Because I was gonna do eighty-five percent. You grabbed eighty-five percent of what was in the bag. Oh, eighty-five percent. I don't think I can grab that with one handful. Yeah, I don't think so either. So. We'll we'll figure that out. But the, the the issue is that they sold all their stuff, but we don't have the cost of it yet. I have I'll because I was gonna do that off screen. Gotcha. Can we just say I grabbed twenty gold pieces and call it good? Yep. That if okay. if you're good with that, I'm good with that. Yep. Okay. So Brian, you'll just make note. That you're down 20 gold pieces now. Cool. Done. All right. Um. All right. So it is. Are you guys good? Everybody good? Yeah. I just need to move back downstairs. Yeah. Okay. In the all right. I'm... Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Got some, so, I got some DoorDash coming at some point, but I'm good. Okay. So, all right, it is now Jared, the morning. Jared, what all do you want to do? Hmm? And, Jerry, can you do me a favor? When you answer the door for the DoorDash, can you talk in that, that accent of barb? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I unfortunately I said it. Oh, come to on. Say, I said it to say, like, leave it on the doorstep. I don't uh, actually talk to them. <laughs> but yeah, normally I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for some Mongolian barbecue. Yes. Thank you so much. I, I, I swear, you, go go look up Leslie Jordan in Bo Boston Legal and tell me that your accent doesn't exactly mimic <laughs> that character. Maybe. It's 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 fantastic. Um, all right, so it's morning. What, uh, what does everybody do? I'm going to be downstairs at the bar. In a corner. Did you uh, did you sleep at all? Did you get a room or anything? No. Or did you just hang out downstairs? I stay downstairs and keep my eye on Ukor. Okay. It is Ukor, right? Mm-hmm. Or Udor. Ukor. Ukor. Okay. Udor. All right. Do you guys all want to come downstairs, or do you, or do you want to do something in your room before? Yeah, yeah, I woke up. I'll head downstairs. Same. All right. Uh, I just I go sit down at this table over here, and I just kind of I have my have my elbows on the table and my head my head is in my hands kind of just like this just kind of like pondering like trying to i'm still kind of like what happened last night was that a dream as you guys come downstairs uh jeff greets you and says uh good good morning gentlemen can i offer you some breakfast yes oh you handsome man if you don't mind i'd love some uh eggs benedict if you're that's an option uh, well, you know, the only there's a little bit of shortage on chicken eggs, so all we've got is ostrich eggs. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Ostrich oh, goodness. eggs are great, Jeff. I will take three of them. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to follow the handsome giant here, and I'm going to join him on one of those. All right. F three for the big guy and one for the little gal. Yes, Coming right up. You. Thank you for calling me little. Appreciate that. <laughs> Freaking Barb. <laughs> Freaking Barb. Freaking Barb. I I walk over to Ukor and I just say, uh, "Good morning." Did you, did you happen to notice anybody like 
walking around. I could have swore somebody came into my room last night. Were you playing a trick on me? <laughs> I don't play tricks. Yeah, you're pretty if boring. I, if I visit, um, you're dead. No, I mean, but then what have we been doing this whole time? I mean, okay. Um, well, only, enjoy doing the person. same thing you've been doing for the last 12 hours, and I go back and sit over at the table. <laughs> I just, you just hear me a soft whisper. Vacation. Vacation. <laughs> I was going to tell Rip is there was only one other person down here, and then they disappeared, and... Oh, okay. Um, who, who was it one, from the one, I don't know. It's that, it's that weird guy who avoided me all yesterday. Mm. Hearing this before he reacts, I sneak out the door. All right. You better run, weird man. <laughs> Doing your roll? Um, no. I mean, you could, if you're just gonna walk out the door. Well, I guess if you're, I'm if gonna you're sneak trying... out the door so they can't see me leaving. Oh, okay. Well, then roll. Um, yeah, roll stealth, and then everybody's. I guess everybody else roll perception. Fourteen. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. So you got to beat a 26 to see him. Nope, not happening. Yep. Not even possible. Barbara? Nope. All right. There's no way in hell. Yeah. <laughs> I can roll a so you... 20 and still not get it. Yeah, I don't get it. So, but okay. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm sneaking out the door as he's pointing over at me before Tide, Riptide can see me. So I don't really get a good look on my face. That's why I'm sneaking out. All right. Jeff. What else is plaguing this area? What else can we do to further bring peace to this land? Well, you know, there's much talk this morning about about your deeds. You know, uh, apparently you told... Uh, told one of the council members and and people are all talking about what you did in the with the haunted mansion and uh they've, they've called an emergency council meeting um now that's that's about the only thing that is you know the bustle of about right now there is you know ever since these uh yeah these dwarves have come into town you know, there's been an, there's there's been talks of uprising of, at the dwarven mine, but uh, you know nothing nothing to be worried about right now. Really, you guys are just the talk of the town. Well, that's fine. Um, all right. Well, the, the town, whatever he was that we talked to. I'll... He, he owes us some money, so if you can point us in the direction of this council meeting, we will go collect our bounty and see how what else we can do for them. Okay. Give me a second. I will tell you where that is. Chris, just a side note, I love that you're DMing, by the way, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, dude. It's awesome. Thanks. Uh, town council. Where the hell are you, council? Council hall. There we go. Dude. All right. So, well, the council hall, if you head out and you go back to the to the river where, you know, where you guys first probably came in, and you head over the bridge, as if you follow that road, the town council will be, uh, you know, you know, right towards the center of town. That's where you can you can see the council hall, and that's where uh, Anders and the council members should be. Great. As soon as we finish our breakfast, we will head out. Wait, what's going on? Is there some like something fun happening? There's some crazy party. What's going on? Tell me about it. 
So, you've heard about this haunted house that has been talked about around here, correct? Oh, goodness. Spooky, spooky, yeah. It 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 was a little scary, but we uh, we just destroyed everybody inside of it and shut down a, uh, a smuggling ring that has been plaguing this area. Oh, ooh. keepers, keepers. Has now promised us <laughs> cash payment as... So we are to so... go to collect it. Hmm. Just a side note. Do you think there maybe potentially might be some goblins around there or no? There's always a possibility for little tiny goblins for us to kill. Oh, there's some <laughs> goblins around there, huh? Possible. Well, that's kind of my thing. I'm like obsessed with like taking them down i hate them they're awful they're evil they're they're so aggressive i hate it well i promise if we ever come up against any goblins you can take the first shot well thank you for this. thank you for that I, that makes me feel better i look right. around the tavern for rip and ukor and uh I say, friends, waterman, vacation man, if you are here, let us go. We have money okay. to collect. Uh, waterman. We get paid. Core doesn't remember names. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Waterman, vacation man. <laughs> Where's the other one that was sneaking around here? I haven't seen him since yesterday. All right. Well, watch your backs. From Sneaky right. Man. Got it. Alright. I'm going to move you guys to the main map. Uh, do, can everybody... Is everybody? Does everybody have a token on the main map? Um, I yes. A token, but I see the map. Give me a second. I'm sprinting to wherever we're going because I just love that I can do that. So this is the this is the town town hall. Okay. So yeah, we will, uh, or I will anyway, uh, start heading down that way. Um, okay. Keeping an eye out always. Um, you know, I I. We haven't seen any of that, the weird guy that was hanging around in the inn last night, so I'm just kind of keeping an eye out, seeing if I see anything strange as we make our way to the town hall. Chris, I'm like uh, maybe across the river. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now I'm there. <laughs> can you control your character? Uh, I can. Uh, let me check. I just saw that my character was like super far away. Yeah, I can move it now. Thank you. Okay. All right. So as you approach the council hall, you can see you're, pa you're, you're coming up on a, on a crowd. There's a, there's a, there's a crowd of, of uh, townspeople in front of the, the town hall. Um, and you can see there's a weather beaten platform with a gallows in front of it. Um, and, and next to the gallow is a, uh, is like a headstock where they might keep a prisoner and inside of the headstock is a goblin bandit i look at barb and i say little one there's one of your goblins oh my goodness that makes me so angry i just can tell by the green colors mm. frustrating <laughs> mm. So angry right now. Is he already dead? Because I want to just strike him down. Uh, he's so he's in a in a headstock, you know, where they put your arms and head, and then they close it around it to get like the, the old fashioned style, like yeah. where where people would throw things at him. Yep. Yeah. So, so that's that's what he's in. Okay. So I look at my fellow barbarian. I look at him. And I'm like, I need to end him now. What do I do? 
I, I trust you. Should I just rock him right now? I just want to rock him. I'm going to put him in like a little biscuit, some glaze, and just call him a day. Now, there's always a time for rage. I understand that. And the best thing I would say to do right now is if you want to get any of your frustration out, pick up one of those stones and throw it at him. We don't want to. Oh we don't want to start a ruckus here. We are just well known enough to get by. We don't want to get on anybody's bad side. Yeah, I guess that's true. But I feel Which like stone? a little rock wouldn't hurt anything. How big of a rock? Because I see a massive boulder, and then I see a little rock. I'm just staring at the boulder right now. No, no, take take the little rock. <laughs> All right, I guess so. I've heard tales of little little rocks hurting people, and one shot has struck really well. But uh, me yeah, too. Try I've not to kill it. Ones. Let me just get a good little aggressive pullback. <laughs> and I threw it. Okay, oh, roll roll an unarmed strike. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so, so, so roll. Um, roll a d20. What is it? It's, it's, it's a d20. Yours is a d20 plus five. <laughs> Nineteen plus five. <laughs> okay, so it hits, and <laughs> it hits more than hits. It should so, do four damage. So, does it, does it just do four damage? Yeah. Um, yeah, if that's what it's. She yeah, it's flat no, that's, what, that's what mine says. It's flat four. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so you hit it square in the temple, and um, the 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 goblin screeches, and then his body goes limp. Oh God, <laughs> the rock did it again. <laughs> I look, I look over at, uh, I look over at my fellow barbarian. And I'm like, I go, oh my goodness, I think I did too much. I think you did too. Now let's just let's keep your head down and let's just walk in, and pretend like nothing happened. Yes, absolutely. yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, just keep walking, keep walking. We're just gonna walk together. Like I like this game. And I pick the I pick the boulder and throw the boulder. God damn. Okay. <laughs> Ukor, be careful. We're vacation men. Be careful. <laughs> You plus one with a boulder. But I also do I also do a zero on an unarmed strike. Okay. <laughs> so I throw it and it like hits him but kinda like rolls off of him. He's already dead, so it doesn't do any damage. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Alright. Best vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so are you guys going inside the town council? The, yes. the council hall. Okay. Yep. So as you walk in, you can you can see, um, there's there's a council meeting. There's there's several people there, but you can tell that clearly there are a few people that are in charge. Um, there there are there are three people that stand out, and the only person that you recognize is Anders, and he is, um, they're they're talking about the the bandits and um that they're that they want to essentially they're trying to decide whether or not like how they're going to approach getting rid of the rest of the bandits can we hear can we hear their conversation um yeah (laughs) Well, you don't have to have. I'm just curious if we can hear them. If like we actually hear them talking about bandits. Yeah. Yes. As you walk in, you can you can see you can hear like they're not they're not quiet or whispering or anything. Like it's a it's a council meeting okay, and it, like it. so like there are citizens there and everything, but ultimately it's up to the council members to decide um, what to do. So as we walk in. Um... I'm not quiet about walking in. Like I'm pushing the door open pretty loud. And if if they're talking about, you know, getting rid of more bandits, I say, why don't we take care of it? We helped. We got rid of a problem that's been plaguing you for a long time. What makes these any different? Let us handle them. Um. So so uh, as you enter, Anders. Uh, recognizing you and being the only one that's spoken with you so far, he he says, "Ah, the travelers, 
the ones who have who have cleared out the haunted house for us and and uh, laid laid out the secrets bare and and made us realize that it was bandits and not a haunted house. They are responsible for for bringing this to our attention. We owe them a great debt, and I feel like they should definitely that they should be part of this conversation. Should they not? And um, you hear another um, town council member speak up and say, "This is a this is a matter for the town folks. We don't need out, outsiders." Helping us with our problems, we can deal with the problems ourselves. That. Then why has it taken you so long to deal with this haunted house, this smuggling ring? You wouldn't even know existed if it wasn't for us. Outsiders are never helpful. They always come in and then they they demand of us. It is best left to handle things internally. That's what I always say. Well, well, sweetheart, let me tell you, what are we demanding of you right now? Are we demanding anything of you? If not, then why are we not here to just help you and make you move on from all this evil and help you get better? That's the plan. Come on now. Anders, yeah. Anders speaks up. Ander speaks up and says, "Exactly. Why? Why should we risk the lives of our townsfolk when we have these brave travelers who are more than well worthy of being able to to handle this threat, and they're willing to do it? Why not just pay them?" Good save, Anders. It sounded like you're about to say expendable. <laughs> 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 That's good, Clark. <laughs> um, get, can you guys give me five minutes? Yeah, yeah. grab yeah, we, a, we can take grab, a break. Grab a beer. Break time. Yep. I'll be right back. Burp. Jared, you good? I'm good. Yeah, I'm ready. Sorry. Welcome okay. back, man. All right. Where did we where did we leave off? We left off at the racist council people. Yep. The racist council people. Uh, shield. So as as Anders and um, this this other uh, lead female council member are going back and forth about who should how this should be handled, um, a uh, a a big like burly man stands up. Um, is he bigger than can... me? No, he's not, but he is for a human. He is, he is big. That's what um, you said. Yeah. He stands up and he says, enough of all of this. I agree with Anders. We should send these adventurers. What we need is to dispatch of these, these bandits and we need to dispatch of them quick. We can't have them in our backyards. I I say we take this to a vote and we let these travelers handle the this disaster that we have not been able to handle for for a while. What say you travelers if we agree will you will you dispatch of these bandits for us? Or look at my companions for any objection. And then I will look at the council and says, stand up. We will destroy anybody that stands in our way. Send us and it will be done. If anything gets right. crazy, we're just going to be there to help it. We're going to be there to vanquish this stuff. Oh. Good job, little one. Yeah, good job, tall one. I pat her on um, the head. All right. Um. So I'm 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 trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I know how I'm gonna do this. I just have to actually do it. No one can predict okay. anything that means so, together. <laughs> okay. So the council the council votes, and um, 
the they are rigged. for rigged. They <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they come to the conclusion uh, against against the other the the lady who was against it. She obviously is still against it, but she was outvoted, and um, they agree to to send you, um, offering to pay you four hundred gold in sum total. Um, if if you are able to successfully dispatch of the bandits. Which is all well and good, but uh, we were promised a payment for our last bounty. Ah, yes, yes. I have your 200 gold here. Excellent. And uh, yeah. I take it and I put it in the bag of holding and I notice that there is less money in the bag. But I don't think of anything anything of it at the time. I just okay. notice it. So, um, as Anders hands you the money, he's he says, uh, "Meet me outside, and I will I will give you I will see what I can do to help you in How your in your mission." Um. And the council meeting is adjourned. <clears throat> so, uh, so do you guys? You guys, do you guys want to meet Anders? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so Anders, um, Anders uh, meets you outside, and you can see standing next to him is a small, uh, small com. Uh, you know, little person. You've seen him before, but he's very unassuming, and y y like you haven't really noticed him a lot. You just know that he's had somebody next to him almost everywhere he's gone. Um, so Anders introduces introduces his um, his assistant. Um, he says, "This is uh, this is my assistant, Scare, and he is." Uh, he is the best at getting almost anything that I ever need. He's anytime I ask him to do something, he he does it for me. And um, so I have asked him to find you a mercenary that would that would go on this journey with you. I can promise you two two men that will go and. Uh, drive the boat or well that will will row the boat for you and and stay on the boat they will go no further than the boat because they i cannot i cannot sacrifice their lives they will defend the boat if needed but um so i have asked scarin here to find me a mercenary willing to go on this adventure with you and uh and i believe he has he has found someone and um Scarin speaks up and he says, "Yes, yes, yes, I have. I have found uh, this. He is a he's a is a rogue uh, by the name of, of uh, Joril. He 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 goes in and out of the taverns, but oh, oh th there he is, there he is, Joril. Come c come over here. At your service. Uh, Joril, these are the folks that I've been telling you about that uh, that we need you." to assist them in their adventure. They need a... Uh, they need a... a cunning blade and a stealthy foot to help them in their mission. And, uh... We all know well... You, we, we know too well that, uh... that you are more than willing to accept this mission considering your circumstances. Very good, very good. <laughs> They look familiar, but I've seen very many faces. How are your kids doing? Who are you asking that? What's the guy's name? Skern? Skarin. Skarin? How is your family, Skarin? My family is they are they are fine. They, thank you for thank you for asking. They are they are doing well. Good. I look and uh, Jorel was it? 
I'm not. I can't promise I will remember that. So don't be offended if I call you something else. <laughs> I am Kor. This is Little One. And I point at Barbara. I point at Rip. And I say, this is Waterman. And this is Vacation Man. <laughs> nice to meet you, Waterman, Vacation Man, and Little One. My yeah, people Rip, call me. Waterman. You call me Barb. It's fine. It's Barb. Yeah, a little warm, but you can call me Barb. Barb. Um, guys, right. and then I, I turn over to uh, to Ukor and I say, "Isn't that the guy that was at the tavern last night?" I step up or I speak out and say, "Nope, that was not me. I, mean, I was not at a tavern last night at all." You look just like the guy that was like creeping around the tavern last night. I can guarantee it wasn't me. But, so I mean, you saw roll, him, didn't you? Try and talk to him. So roll roll deception with advantage because you were you were pretty successful at hiding your face. So roll it with advantage. Cool. Okay, eighteen plus four, so twenty-two. So. If anybody wants to roll an opposed, I'm going to I'm going to say history. How much was it? 22 24. or 24. Yeah, can't... yeah no, sorry, 22. I can't do it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not I'm not helpful in history. You must be mistaking me for someone else. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I don't know. This boat that you speak of, it wouldn't happen to be the shark fin, would it? No. We don't know the name of the boat. Wait, wait. Boat. We didn't say anything about a boat. You did. You said that you had Maybe. two men to row a boat. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, no, they're essentially gonna row. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, man gonna the row. boat that you guys uh, brought back. Oh, okay. So we have to provide the boat. Yeah. Okay. Well, so sorry. So that boat is yours. Anders will provide you with a boat if okay. you want. No, that's fine. We'll take ours. Um. So it says so, Anders, because Anders owns a fleet of ships because he's a fishing guy. So he's willing to uh, supply a small fishing boat. Um, so re remember, your boat can hold, it's like eight people. The small fishing boat would be able to hold, it says, the entire party plus two. Oh, right. So essentially, so yours would hold more. Yeah, but I don't, uh, well, it's not ours. Well, if it breaks, it's not ours then. We still have ours if we use his, so. Gotcha. Uh, let's, let's, if he's going to offer one, let's use his. Okay. At least that's what I say. I mean, whatever you, I mean, if you guys want to do something different, for sure, speak up. No, that sounds good. So you essentially are, you're going to get on a boat that holds seven people. So. Okay. Um, Sir, take us to the boats. Uh, so, so Anders, t before, before you go, Anders says, uh, I don't know if, uh, so let me give you a little bit of information. So I don't know if you saw as you came into the town council that uh, we had a, a goblin out front. And he's been very useful in giving us some information. We still have more information to gather from him. But, um, he, you know, he, he gave us some information about the smuggler's ring. And, and so from what we gathered, we gathered that you guys only took out a portion of it. There's a there seems to be a land-based operation, which is what you guys took care of. And there seems to be a sea-based operation that we don't know. All we know is that there is some kind of system that takes place in between um, in between the land, the, the house that you were at, and this ship at sea. Um, and I want uh, one of you to to roll or all of you either one it doesn't matter roll um gosh um roll in in tell investigation 
Who? Um, so oh, sorry, sorry, not everybody. Uh, Core, Ukor, and Rip. You guys roll, roll investigation. I rolled a ten. Oh, seven plus three, ten. I got eighteen. Okay. Ukor. Clark. Did you oh. roll? Oh, no, we lost Clark. There we go. 16. Right. Sorry, no, I immediately <laughs> went out to the bathroom and did not meet myself. 16, okay. sorry. So, um, so Ukor and who rolled the 18? I did. Core, okay, so Ukor and Kor, you guys recall when you were when you were searching um through the haunted house, you came across some kind of system that that was some kind of lighting system. You noticed a, you, you remember a lamp that was in um, the, the quarters of one of the people that looked like it had been moved around, uh, maybe used as a signaling. And then you also remember that when you were downstairs um, that you found a piece of paper that kind of had some stuff written out on it that might explain the signaling. Um, so you, re you remember that. Um, and then Anders, uh, Anders tells you, good luck. May the gods be with you. And we will see you when you return. That's our first suckers. As I walk away. Um, and then... I'll be right back. Okay. I don't, I don't know what you got planned for the uh, further on, but that might be a good place to stop for. It's mm -hmm. a good stopping point. We're kind of at time anyway. It, yeah. It's your call, but I mean, that's what I'm just saying. If if we're about so, to go into something else, like that's going to take another hour. Right. I'll I'll leave that up to you guys. This is a good stopping point. I have more prepared if you if you want to, but. But yeah, probably like this is a good stopping point. Yeah, it's probably a good stopping point. Yep, that's that's probably good.